All right, Elite Code 3, and today we're going to do a video um, taking a look at some of the cards, uh, some of my more notable pickups from the year 2020, of course, last year. Um, I think there was, I, I pulled 10 cards here, so these are cards, you know, that I picked up for the future, cards I think will be worth a lot more down the road. Um, they're all vault cards, so they're stored at the the bank vault um so here we go arenado that's a uh 2010 bowman chrome gold getting some some type of glare here but um this was bought as a Beckett 9, I think it had a 10 auto on there, but I don't really worry too much about the autos, but it's out of 50. I think his stuff is definitely undervalued. It might have to do with playing it, playing for the Rockies, but um, I think in the future his stuff's going to just tick up con continually, and I think eventually he'll be a Hall of Famer. So we'll kind of see what happens with uh, Arenado's stuff, but I just thought that one was cool. And then another gold to 50, but football, and this was uh, bought already graded. You know, it's in the old... PSA holder. Can't remember the price on it. But flagship Rogers tops to 50. I just thought it was a card that I really haven't seen pop up ever. So I don't know where they're at. If they're still in packs or people are just storing these away. But I thought this was definitely one that I would uh, hold on to for a long time. So the Rogers tops gold. And then this one was, I purchased this off one of the uh, people that I know in the hobby he break he was breaking a lot of packs and uh he yeah I think he, he got this in a pack and he got it graded by PSA twice um you know if, if I look closely at it I think it I think it probably deserves a 10 but this is probably a pop controlled card but that top left corner it's not dinged at all there's the smallest sliver of white I'll try to show it to you guys it's hard when you don't have the card in person but um yeah I've seen tens that are Definitely not as nice as this one to 67. Um, you know, I might send it in for a uh, review, but <laughs> I feel like they'll discharge me and send it back, so I might not do that too. So the gold soda, or the, the black soda to 67. I don't know what this card's at now. I know I paid about 2300 for it back last summer. This is one that it was sitting raw, and I just thought, you know, it looks like it's definitely, you know, if, if the uh, seller is describing it right, it looks like it's definitely going to probably get a 9, maybe an outside chance at a 10. I think I posted it on my uh, Instagram when I before I sent it off. Um, as you can see, the top to bottom is not 50-50. You know, it might fall into the 60-40 range, and the right to left is definitely in range of a PSA 10. So, um, I don't know. It's like, I think on a different day, this could probably be a 10 too. That's the thing with the 9s and 10s. I feel like they can swap between graders a lot. Um, this is cool. The Tatis Independence Day. This was picked up raw out of 76. So I think the black has a, definitely has a, a higher market than the Independence Day. But the Independence Day, I, I want to say it has a better market than the uh, Mother's Day pink or the Father's Day blue. But I might be wrong on that. So Independence Day Tatis to 76. Can't remember the price on this one. Um, this was purchased around um, July, I want to say. And it was definitely over $1,000. It's a PSA 9 of the Black Lindor to 64. Love these um, blacks, these Tops Update blacks. So... Lindor, of course, he's on the Mets now. I think that's going to actually help his market. Um, his cards did surge a little after the, the uh, trade, but we'll kind of see how he performs and how they uh, sustain themselves going down the, down the line here. So there's the black. Um, let's see what else. What do we have here? Purchase raw. And last spring, I was sending cards to SEC when PSA was shut down and I was having a lot of fun with it so picked up this Aaron Rodgers I, th I think raw and it just came in and I was like geez 
looks really, really good. And I I was thinking it would get like a 9 or a 9.5, and I sent it to SGC, and they graded it as a 9.5. So a Mint Plus Rogers Contenders Rookie Ticket. Um, I think this has a print of 541. Okay. Last, I think late summer, I was picking some of these eight fives up in the $3,500 range. Um, I haven't checked them lately, but I've, I've, I think they went up because the PSA 10s are going for like 200000 now, which is crazy. But you know, I'm not going to ever pay for a 10 or not even a 9 of this card. I, I thought I could find an 8.5 that looks as good as a 9, and this one does. So SGC grades these older basketball cards from the 70s, 80s, you know, the, the, the vintage baseball, basketball, football hockey um very tough and very strict and they're pretty consistent so when this one came in i, I knew it was a, a keeper so it's got awesome centering like i, I think the centering is good enough to definitely be a nine there's the back there's no like staining or anything like sometimes there's like i don't know how to explain it people that know this set better it's not staining but there's just uh, no surface issues on the back there and then this exclusives was raw for nine hundred dollars which i think is a steal because i love the exclusives it's a brady star rookie to 100 there it's like silver instead of the blue base and uh just got a crazy low print run when it came in i was like oh wow i'm, I'm dealing with a extremely clean card here so i, I sent it to sgc um i thought it would get this, this is exactly what I thought it would get, actually. I thought it would get a Mint Plus. I didn't think it would get a 10, but I think it's definitely good. Definitely graded accurately, which is important. And then the last card I'm going to show is one that I actually got in a pack. Um, I opened a box in March. I don't open a lot of boxes anymore, and I pulled this Redemption, and I was just shocked. It's got the gold sticker there. Um, just shocked to pick it up. To pull it. 69. Sent, it, sent the Redemption in. Got the card that quick, like two weeks later. And I uh, shot a video for it. So this was the uh, pull of a lifetime, which I don't think I'll ever top this pull. But the uh, real one, Red Ink to 69 Acuna Auto from Heritage, high number 18. So that, that'll that stay in the PC forever. Um, so that's some of the bigger pickups from 2020. I think I'll do a, a second video of this and find some more stuff for you guys to take a look at. Just to get some content up there because I haven't had a lot of time because of the store. I'm out later.